Hello, my name is Sanya and today I will be presenting a summary of my project on deep learning for fabric defect detection. Defect detection in fabric production is vital for quality control purposes. Defects may take the shape of spots, wires, holes, and more. Traditionally, such defects have been identified manually, but this is a tedious, slow, and time-consuming process. In addition, defects can cause a 45 to 65% reduction in the selling price of fabrics. Hence, defect detection can be automated to increase speed and accuracy of this process. Past research in this domain includes statistical approaches, spectral analysis, and model-based or learning approaches. In addition, deep learning techniques, like CNN-based and transformer-based models, have exhibited strong performance in object detection tasks. Wang et al. built such a model specifically for defect detection, known as the defect transformer. This project aims to fine-tune two recent deep learning models, YOLO V8 and the Real-Time Detection Transformer, or RTDTR, for fabric defect detection. An ensemble model is created from the combined predictions by passing them into a meta-model. This aims to further optimize detection performance on fabric defects. The dataset used in this study is the ZJU Leaper dataset, which consists of 19 different fabric types of various patterns and textures. Some examples of the annotated defects are shown here. Here's a quick overview of the model architectures of YOLO V8 and RTDETR. YOLO V8 is a single-stage object detection model that uses the modified CSP Darknet 53 backbone, pre-trained on the COCO dataset. It is also capable of performing anchor-free detections with a decoupled object detection head. Meanwhile, RTDETR is a hybrid object detection model that uses a HGNet V2 backbone pre-trained on ImageNet. Its decoupled feature interaction modules boost efficiency. The selected model configurations used were YOLO V8 medium and RTDETR large. The project flow was as follows. A subset of the ZJU Leaper dataset was pre-processed and used to train the YOLO V8 and RTDETR models. Hyperparameter fine-tuning was performed to select the optimal training configurations. The model's performance was benchmarked against other single-stage and two-stage models, such as Cascade RCNN, Faster RCNN, and RetinaNet. The trained YOLO V8 and RTDETR models were then used as base models to build a stackbox ensemble model. This project involved several modifications to the original ensemble algorithm, including confidence score adjustments for duplicated predictions. A range of meta models with different parameters was also tested, and finally, a support vector machine regressor was chosen as the optimal meta model. The modified stackbox ensemble performance was compared to that of non max suppression, soft non max suppression, and weighted boxes fusion. Finally, a gradio interface was implemented to demonstrate the new model. From the results, RTDETR outperformed all models in terms of average precision and had the second highest average recall. While YOLO V8 had lower precision and recall scores, it had significantly shorter inference times than the three comparison models, making it suitable for an ensemble model. The Stackbox ensemble model also outperformed all three other techniques, demonstrating its effectiveness in combining the predictions of both base models. Here are some samples of the annotated images obtained from the ensemble model as well as the output of the Gradio interface. As you can see, it has strong localization results on the test images. It is important to account for the precision recall trade-off when training models, as lower recall will result in defects not being identified, while a lower precision would decrease bounding box accuracy. The scope of the task should determine the degree to which each factor is prioritized. In addition, while the single-stage YOLO V8 model may have a lower precision compared to RTDETR, it is more computationally efficient, which makes it easier to deploy on edge devices. Additionally, to leverage its real-time performance, RTDETR can be run using TensorRT with FP16 precision during inference time. That brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you!